Hi, but this is Lola, and this is written in diary form, so that the sentences are quite short and, and choppy. Okay, Tuesday, September the 23rd, 8.30 a.m. A woke, a noise, what was it? Lay in bed, rigid with listening. Something moving around downstairs. Person, no, people, voices talking. Was being burgled, frightened, couldn't believe it was happening. More noises, sounded, actually, like kettle boiling. Burglars making tea? Unusual. <laughs> Murmur of voices again, followed by tinkle of sugar being stirred and stirred and stirred in mug. Then, slurp. Actually heard it. Slurping of tea, worst sound in the world. Makes me want to go on falling down style rampage. I pulled on jumper over pajamas. Found moss and moss, sitting at kitchen table, drinking, nay, slurping tea. Boss said, ah, there she is. There's tea in the pot, Moss said. Pour you a cup. All came rushing back. New friends, tricked to Steinman to sign on. They looked even more washed up in unforgiving light of day. Art Garfunkel hair, hadn't seen combs since 2003. 98FM <laughs> t-shirt on Moss, less than quiz time. But they were happy to see me, smiles. I asked, where's the other one, the smaller one, the master? Doesn't come, bad back, disability allowance. Hadn't noticed anything wrong with his back yesterday. Uncertain about moral cal caliber of my new friends. 9.51 a.m. Not proper van. Like car with two seats in front, but van lit in back, where back seats would usually be. Ushered into front seat beside boss. Moss crouched in the back, hugging his knees. Van remarkably filthy and smelly. Tobacco, animals, cinnamon air freshener. Had to roll down window in case I vomited. 10.17 a.m. Ella Simon. Not much bigger than Knocker Boy, but real town, not tourist place. Shop selling animal themed and inoculations. Another one which seemed to sell only ropes. Surprisingly large number of chemists. People of Ennis Diamond prone to illness? Love chemists. Maybe I could have quick brows. In shower of dirt from van wheels, we parked in disabled space right outside welfare office. Boss rooted around on filthy floor, produced disabled sticker and threw it on the dashboard. I didn't want to go into welfare office. Had all made perfect sense last night when I was drunk, but was sober now. Not that I thought myself above claiming welfare. Oh no, not first time in my life I'd done it. Simply wearied by the futility of what lay ahead. Claiming welfare like 12 labours of Hercules should be simple. Had paid contributions, had lost job, had tried without success to get another one, was skint, but obstacle course. Fill in this form, fill in that form, produce last year's accounts, this year's accounts, utilities bill, proof of Irish citizenship, a letter from last employer. If my monumental effort produced everything, it still wouldn't be enough. More requests, progressively more challenging, Photograph of my first pet, three white truffles, Tom Cruise's autograph, the first pressing of Lily the Pink, bottle of limited edition vanilla tango, charcoal illustration of Zinedine Zidane's bottom, grass rubbing of Holy Grail. If I did them all, then would get letters saying, we have found another query. You are not entitled to any dole. You will never be entitled to any dole. But bring us 10 grams of powdered unicorn horn in a nice box and we will see if we can make discretionary payment. <laughs> if people ever get payment from welfare office, it is not because they're entitled to it. It is a reward for tenacity, for sheer bloody-mindedness, for enduring Kafka-esque pettiness of their requests and not blowing up and shrieking, shove your shitty little payment like rob or starve. 10.45 a.m. As expected, was given short shrift. What is that exactly? You are a new claimant? Yes. You need assessment. Okay, can I have assessment? I cannot just waltz in here expecting assessment. You need appointment. Okay, may I book appointment? Wouldn't have bothered if it hadn't been for Boss and Moss crowding around me going, Go on, Lola! It's your right, Lola! <laughs> Actually, uh, I have appointment free this morning. What time? I asked. Uh, now, 10.46 a.m., grim back room with the Cesar man. Don't mean to be unkind, but could see why he wasn't front of house person. 
looked all pointy, like fox, sharp inquisitive features, nose, chin, fox-like colouring, reddish hair and ponytail at nape of neck, wearing the special glasses that all interrogators seem to wear, ones with narrow silver frames which light glints off in manner intended to unsettle, the silver frames of suspicion. A stylist, he asked, full of contempt. What kind of job is that? I source clothes for people. Source, he asked, making fun of the word. What does that mean? I find clothes for people. If someone has to go to a fancy red carpet do, I get designers to send over a selection of dresses. Or if someone is very busy, I call in stuff, and they try it all on without having to traipse around the shops. He gave me a strange look. Look, I said defensively, I know it's not a very worthwhile job, not like being a nurse or, or an aid worker in Bangladesh, but there is a demand for it and someone has to do it and I like it and it might as well be me. Not much call for it around here, Dolman said. I know, that's why I'm here. I looked for jobs in all the bars in Nakavoy, but end of season, nothing doing. Why have you come to live in Nakavoy anyway? Personal reasons, I replied, trying to keep voice steady. Lip started its mad twitch, like it was trying to send a message in Morse code. You'll have to do better than that, no secrets here. Okay, I said, blurting it all out. My boyfriend is getting married to someone else. The shock has had bad effect, have messed up every job I've done, have been sort of sent into exile to get over it before I destroyed my business completely, having to pay my assistant and her cousin while I'm away, no jingle left for me. Okay, he said, writing it down. We'll be in touch. I wondered which way they blocked my claim. Almost curious. Would it be because I was self-employed? Or should I be claiming in Dublin? Or was this ill health rather than unemployment per se? So should I be claiming disability benefit? Oh, I knew all their tricks. Thank you. <laughs>